of the danger of vaccinations and doesn't take like vaccinations at all. They don't have to. It's not a compulsory issue. Is that to say with the pineal that oftentimes the pineal will be more active in a child who's not vaccinated? Is that a safe conclusion? Yeah. Yes, but it doesn't, it's not necessarily the, the cause. Uh, because the pineal gland is, um, I find, uh, not affected in uh, at least 50% of the cases. Not, no matter what kind of vaccination there has been. Uh, but there's also uh, uh, people that, uh, that don't get we don't have resonance with it, then nothing will affect you. I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, uh, in our world, uh, uh, living is difficult. <coughs> I mean, there's so many toxins around and uh, cell phone radiation and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the moment you raise your vibrations to a level that you have no resonance anymore. Then it doesn't make any difference where, where you live or what you do. Because you only attract things to which you have resonance. And uh, uh, the, the lower, uh, uh, any time that, that you take, for example, uh, uh, a medication, your vibrations go lower and does solve the problem. Antibiotics, I always thought that antibiotics had once <laughs> killed bacteria. They have never. They have never. Because what happens is the antibiotics kills the bacteria on the surface, but the rest withdraws in the tissues. <laughs> and uh, they might not be so active there. But every single time that you have taken back antibacterial or antibiotics, those bacteria are still in your system. I mean, people who have been, uh, who were taking uh, antibiotics 40 years ago uh, against uh, some kind of infections, the moment you remove these antibiotics out of the system, People get the same symptoms back as they had 40 years ago. So, it has never done anything. It's all illusion. But America is the country of the illusions. <laughs> the, show, the show must go on. That's why you have a captive audience here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, I was the last couple of days, I, I mean, when I saw all these ads on TV, this medication, and uh, it's, it's incredible. And they're first doing Tai Chi. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, uh, and then I have to mention that uh, all the side effects. I, uh, it's amazing, India, yeah. it takes them after they say all the side effects. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, but I had a doctor friend in Munich, and... Uh, uh, his daughter, uh, he gave her medication, and I read on the packaging, side effect was death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He gave it to his daughter. I said, what the hell are you doing? Most people don't read the side effects. <laughs> what? Most people don't read the side effects, they don't want them now. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Personally. ignorance can kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 but I mean, uh, uh, but uh, I think the nutritional companies and the uh, pharmaceutical companies are all in cahoots. Uh, uh, no matter which way you go, you get affected if you let it happen. The moment you, your body functions again, I mean, the moment you pituitary functions, okay, no medication will ever work. 
because your body will immediately recognize it. But because it works, you will never need to. Because the invaders, it will recognize too. And the moment you go up in your vibrations, no bacteria ever sees you. So the masters, like masters in the East, who have raised their energy through the chakras, and have they made that connection, a strong connection with the pineal and pituitary, and then almost um, like maintained the star or entered back into that place you spoke of the soul as like a star? Is that uh, what they're doing with their practices? I mean, <coughs> very simply. I have no idea what they do with their practices, mm -hmm. uh, because I have never been in any of their practices. Uh, but uh, 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 I mean, if if they all if they had been vaccinated, that's one thing. What I would like to know, uh, because then uh, I think uh, what they uh, they say is all knowledge. <coughs> and not knowing. Because I think a lot of them, uh, uh, they have not experienced that much. <coughs> so they can't be much knowing. I mean, it could be if you're a, 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 a teacher, professor at a university, you can tell a lot of things, but it's all knowledge. It's not knowing. For knowing, you need to experience it. It doesn't mean that you have to experience everything uh, uh, on yourself. Why we have to experience in dealing with it. And you can see the, from the dealing how people react. And you always have to observe, 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 observe. Never stop perceiving. And in doing it, in doing the treatments, and for example in listening to the instrument, you have to perceive yourself foremost. You have to see how you react. Doesn't matter how the patients react, but how you react. You continuously you have, to, you have to be so alert all the time. And it's no problem. I mean once <coughs> all your chakras are clean, your energy is clean. You already know when the patient comes through the door what's wrong with him. Because you perceive, and I mean, there are other techniques which teaches your, you, for example, to connect your third eye with the third eye of the patient. And if you do that, you can immediately see what's inside the body wrong. That's a different technique again. But that's especially the technique for the connections. I was just wondering, so you're here for how long, and I know you're going to be scheduling some clients tomorrow. Yes. So, I'm just wondering, I'm going to have to leave to my kids and try this one.